All right. So this is the start of me trying to document a process, my own process through uh, cinematography. It's something that I have a lot of feelings about and a lot of thoughts about, but I don't. I don't have a system. I don't have a way to really succinctly and categorically address what I care about in the art and in the craft. So this is my attempt at at starting a a dialogue with myself and thought I would post it to YouTube uh, just because that gives me accountability. Not, Not in front of anyone else, really. This is, this is mostly for me. It's all the way for me, but I don't know, I just thought it would be interesting to try to get better at articulating what, what I care about. Um, so I have this little, you know, set up here. I got a little light, um, just playing around with it right now and, and playing around with my, uh, TV logic five inch monitor and, and seeing if I can't construct an image that I'm, I'm interested in using waveform. So what I mean by that is is I have a background and I have a I have a pretty background that I that I want to invoke something out of so I I play with the waveform to get it to a certain uh sorry this is bopping up and down I play with the background to get it to the level that I want and then I I, I take my key in this case a china ball with a tungsten bulb in it and and I just put it in front of me and 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 try to get it close enough and, and framed in such a way where I'm able to get a ratio that, that I like. Now, I've been playing a lot with a light meter, trying to understand how that works in, in a process so I can come on set and I can quickly say like, okay, you know, with the reflective meter reading and with an incident reading, be able to articulate to a gaffer uh, what light levels I want to be where and able to get kind of a good guess about, you know, where I want this to sit. I think this works twofold. Both on set, it helps me to, you know, hopefully be able to articulate information, important information uh, to, to the gaffer and, and have confidence about, about that information. And number two, that also helps me with my pre-visualization, which I think is an important part of this process. It's, it's me... Uh, being decisive before arriving on set or on set about about how I want something to to look like, and I think pre visualization comes from the Ansel Adams zone theory of if that's how if that's what you call it um, a, a approach to exposure and stops and 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 putting everything into that ten stop eight stop delivery compartment of, of a rec 709 so with that in mind i think i i'm trying to well going back a light meter is important but first comes the image it comes an understanding about what makes a strong ratio and what, what makes a strong, strongly exposed image and, and something that's very, very pretty to look at. So that's me. That's what I'm trying to do right here. I take an image um, and I say, OK, what would I like, you know, the face to be at? Uh, what would I like the background to be at? And right now I'm reading at about like 90 to 95 IRE on like the bright, brightest parts of the background. It looks pretty good. Um, it means that the dark, like the, the windows in the corner of the room here are at uh, what looks to be like 50 to 40. You know, it, it's, in that, it's in that territory of it kind of being a little bit dim. Um, so I have a reference, a hot reference, and then I have a really black, um, I have some neg on, on, my, on my right side, and that's bringing contrast into the image. I have a little bit of, you know, there's leakage coming from back there, kind of giving myself some shape. I can give myself some more shape here if I wanted to. Um, something like that. You know, does that look good? I don't know. But regardless, I'm trying to learn how to use my tools better. And I think, and I think uh, trying to communicate what I want uh, better. It's all been in my head up until this point. 
and uh, this process, and it hasn't been articulated. And and I would just like to like to compile and 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 test and and kind of follow a process through uh, from from beginning to end, and have confidence in in that. Um, I think it's I think it's about time to do some digestion. So that's what this is. <laughs> uh, I'm curious. I'm looking at this through a deacon like a. The, the supposed uh, Deacon's uh, show LUT um, is a pretty contrasty LUT, and it's, it seems like it, it overexposes. Uh, it forces someone to overexpose a negative uh, on the Lexus sensors by, by, by stop around. So trying to look at it through there and trying to play to that and trying to make it look like something. So right here, I have my face is at kind of a, I think a 30 to 35 IRE. If I, if I bring it up to a 50, that's what that starts to look like. Um, in terms of where my, where my shadows are falling, I don't, I don't quite know where they are, but it still looks, it looks pretty good. Um, So let's bring it up even more. I oftentimes find that I underexpose stuff. So I'm trying to learn how to properly bring out the image without uh, feeling like my my key is is under. This is keeps on waving with the wind, with the uh, fan above me. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's enough of me yapping. Just about here. So here I'm like I'm at 40, which is kind of nice. I'm curious about the highlights behind me and how they're uh, how they're behaving. Well, I'm blinking again. I'm not good at talking my way through it, and that's what I'm trying to get better at. So. I think that's that's about it. Um, next steps is I want to learn how to uh, put a LUT onto my camera here, or onto my camera monitor, so I can know exactly what IRE position I am at uh, when I'm when I'm viewing a LUT through there. So that's my next step, and yeah, I'm gonna gonna get back to you after that. I got a flash drive from the store, so that shouldn't be too hard to put onto my camera or onto my onto my five inch there. All right. I guess, bye.